Dear Nixon and Echo, you are hereby invited to a fossil excavation site in Yucatan, Mexico. We are hoping to find new fossils in the area and would love for you to join us. Mexico? That's halfway across the world. What are we going to do there? The letter mentioned the words excavation site. So I guess we're going to hunt for fossils. Let's go to Mexico. Phew, we're finally here. That was a long journey. Let's meet my friend, Dr. Gray. Nixon, Echo, how are you? Thank you for inviting us. Nixon and I are over the moon to be here. I'm so excited to have you join us on our fossil hunt. But before we get started, can anybody tell me what a fossil is? Fossils are the remains or traces of ancient plants and animals. They give us a window into the history of Earth. Fossils are all we have left of dinosaurs since their extinction 65 million years ago. Spot on as always, Nixon. So fossils are just bones? Like the ones in the museums? Well, not quite, Echo. Fossils are not the remains of the organism itself. In fact, they're just rocks. Fossils can be bones, feathers, leaves, and shells preserved over time. Fossilization <laughs> takes millions of years. That's so long. Could you explain in detail how fossilization works? Welcome to the main oh, dig yeah. site. You are going to explain the process of fossilization to us. There are four steps to fossilization. First, when an animal dies, the soft parts of its body decompose. This leaves only the hard parts, like a skeleton, behind. Second, for fossilization to occur, the body must be immediately buried under mud, sand, or rocks. In millions of years, the skeleton must stay buried under layers of sediment. Third, water seeps through the sediment over time and passes through the skeleton. This leaves minerals behind, which replace the bones. In some cases, this can result in a rocky replica of the original skeleton. This process is known as permineralization. Finally, these minerals will harden to rock, forming what we see as the fossil. Over the course of millions of years, this rock will naturally rise to the surface. The sediment around it will be worn away by erosion as a result of rain or earthquakes. And that's how fossils are formed. Trace fossils are marks left by animals and plants millions of years ago. This can include footprints, feces, barrels, feeding marks, and even lightning marks. These fossils give us clues about how ancient animals lived. Body fossils are formed by the remains of dead plants and animals. They are replicas of the hard parts, like the teeth, bones, shells, branches, and stems. The conditions must be perfect for fossils to form. That's why they are so rare. Great choice, Chipsters. Dinosaur teeth provide us with important clues about its diet. For example, if the teeth are long and sharp, then the dinosaur was a carnivore. If the teeth are wide and flat, then it was a herbivore. Excellent choice, Chipsters. Full body fossils allow us to visualize an image of what the extinct animal looked like. Take the Stegosaurus fossil, for example. We can tell its shape and size. We can also see that it had sharp plates on its back, which it used to fight off predators. The location in which a fossil is found tells us where a particular species of dinosaur lived. For example, most Velociraptor fossils have been found in Mongolia and China. Therefore, we can deduce that the Velociraptor was native to what is now Northern Asia. Hey everyone, check it out! I think I found a fossil, but it's part of a big hot rock. Great work, Nixon. Now it's time to uncover the fossil. This is known as the excavation process. When paleontologists need to break the hard parts of a rock, they use a pickaxe. Now we can see more of our fossil, but there's still some bits of rock attached to it. The rock hammer is an important tool used by a paleontologist when digging for fossils. Nixon, look! The fossil we're excavating is a dinosaur skull! That's so cool! Hmm, but there's still some loose mud and dust around the fossils. Using a digging knife and brush, 
allows us to clean and see the fossil without damaging it. Thanks, Chipsters! Great job, everyone! Now we're going to learn so much from this Triceratops skull. That was so much fun! Thanks, Chipsters! We couldn't have done it without you! Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial!